Act Four, Scene Two. Lady Macduff, her son, in Ross Enter. What did he do that made him flee this land? You have to be patient, madam. He had no patience. He was crazy to run away. Even if you're not a traitor, you're going to look like one if you run away. You don't know whether it was wisdom or fear that made him flee. How could it be wisdom to leave his wife, his children, his house, and his titles in a place so unsafe that he himself flees it? He doesn't love us. He lacks the natural instinct to prove his family. His running away has everything to do with fear and nothing to do with love or wisdom. My dearest relative, I'm begging you, pull yourself together. As for your husband, he is noble, wise, and judicious and he understands what the times require. In times like these, we believe frightening rumors, but we don't even know what we're afraid of. I'll say goodbye now. It won't be long before I'm back. When things are at their worst, they have to stop, or else improve to the way things were before. My young cousin, I put my blessing upon you. He has a father, and yet he is fatherless. I have to go. If I stay longer, I'll embarrass you and disgrace myself by crying. I'm leaving now. Ross exits. Young man, your father's dead. What are you going to do now? How are you going to live? I will live on whatever I get, like the birds do. You'll be a pitiful bird. You won't know enough to be afraid of traps. Why should I be afraid of them, Mother? If I'm a pitiful bird, like you say, hunters won't want me. No matter what you say, my father is not dead. Yes, he is dead. What are you going to do for a father? Maybe you should ask, what will you do for a husband? Oh, I can buy 20 husbands at the market. If so, you'd be buying them to sell again. You like, you talk like a child, but you're very smart anyways. Was my father a traitor, mother? Yes, he was. What is a traitor? Someone who makes a promise and breaks it. And is everyone who swears and lies a traitor? Everyone who does so is a traitor and should be hanged. And should everyone who makes promises and breaks them be hanged? Everyone. Who should hang them? The honest men. Then the liars are fools, for there are enough liars in the world to beat up the honest men and hang them. <laughs> Heaven help you for saying that, boy. Uh, but what will you do without a father? If he were dead, you'd be weeping for him. If you aren't weeping, it's a good sign that I'll soon have a new father. Silly blabber, how you talk. A messenger enters. Bless you, fair lady. I'm afraid something dangerous is coming towards you. If you'll take this, if you'll take a simple man's advice, don't be here when it arrives. Go away and take your children. Harm is getting close. Heaven keep you safe. The messenger exits. Where should I go? I haven't done anything wrong, but I have to remember that I'm here on earth where doing evil is often praised and doing good is sometimes a stupid and dangerous mistake. So then why should I offer this womanish defense that I'm innocent? The murderers enter. Who are these men? Where is your husband? I hope he's not anywhere so disreputable that thugs like you can find him. He is a traitor. You're lying, you shag shaggy-haired villain. What is that? You run, young son of traitor? He has killed me. Mother, run away, I beg you. The sun dies. Lady Macbeth exit crying, murder! The murderers exit following her. Oh, murder! 